student welcome to the lecture series of instrumentation and sensor so today in this lecture we will continue our chapter number 2 that is sensor installation and operation okay so today in this chapter we will take the topic that is differentiate between types of sensor and their mode of operations okay so today in this lecture we will learn more about sensor and their mode of operations okay so we can say that a wide variety of instruments are used to carry out a geotechnical monitoring then structural monitoring then geodetic surveys and environmental monitoring okay so to monitor this area we have to use the instruments and, and that different different instruments are nothing but the sensors and the transducers okay and we can use this type of instrument to monitoring the ground water level then pathometric pressure stresses in soil and concrete then to measurement of strain and displacement load temperature tilt in structure then lateral displacement in bore hole using the increase in the meter okay so these are the physical parameters so here we have to measure this physical parameters with the help of instruments okay so let us understand in detail different types of sensors and how we can use it in civil engineering to monitor this type of areas okay so our first instrument that is tilt meter so you can clearly see in this figure this one is tilt meter so tilt meter is generally used to monitor the tilt of any building okay so to online monitor tilt of any building that may be caused due to the differential ground settlement okay so due to the differential ground settlement there will be change in building structures okay so to measure the tilt in building structure we have to use tilt meter so here we have to install this tilt meter at an indoor location or in shade to prevent the effect of large temperature fluctuations on the monitor result okay so here we have to install tilt meter in indoor location to prevent the effect of large temperature fluctuation on our final monitoring result unit okay so sometimes we can say that users may use two or more tilt meter to monitor the tilt of any building structure okay so we can use tilt meter to measure the tilt of any building structures okay so at that time we have to install this tilt meter in indoor location to prevent the effect of any temperature fluctuations okay so in civil engineering in many area we can use tilt meter to measure the tilt of any building structures okay so we can say that for safety purposes two or more systems may be mounted at proper locations so we can monitor data on plan okay you can easily see in this figure how we can install tilt meter in building structures and how we will get our online monitoring data here okay so we can say that to continuously monitoring the stability with time of any structures like to buildings and structures built on a high hill stations or mountain so we can use this tilt meter or we can say that we can use this low cost service for, for that type of structure stability with the time okay so we can use tilt meter to monitor the stability of any structure which are on hill and mountains okay so this is the purpose of tilt meter so we can easily use tilt meter to monitor the tilt of any building structure so and it is very low cost service and you can also get information online regarding the tilt of any building structure with the help of online service okay it also give us four warning of ground movement during the rainfall so at the time of rainfall if any ground movement occur so tilt meter give us pre warning about the ground movement okay so, so we can use tilt meter for that purpose also now next is crack meter crack gauges displacement meter or joint meter okay you can clearly see in this figure the displacement meter or we can say that the crack meter so with the time cracks develops in building structures and monuments okay 
So monitoring width of this type of structure will give us important information time to time regarding the crack developed in building structures or monuments. Okay. But to monitor the change in width of any building or structure, we have to use crack meter to get the information that there are changes occur in width of any building or structure. Okay. So we can say that a user may use several of these at representative locations to monitor the development of crack in buildings with time. Okay. So to monitor the development of crack with time in building structures. We can use this crack meter or we can say that displacement meter. Okay. And then this data is transmitted to a central server system to control and monitor this crack development. Okay. We can also use alarm system for getting information regarding crack development in the building structure in previous stages by using the alarm system. Okay. So this type of crack meter we can use to measure the change in length of any buildings and structures and monuments. Okay, you can clearly see in this image how we can install a crack meter on the dome. Okay, and we can say that many tilt meters are also mounted in this structure to get online monitoring. Okay, and to online monitoring of the crack development in the structure, we, we can use several tilt meter to get online monitoring data. Okay, so with the help of this information, we can easily measure the crack development in any building or town or any structures. Okay, now next instrument that is inclinometer. You can clearly see in this image in inclinometer and in our previous lecture we have also studied about what is the purpose of inclinometer, what are the types of inclinometer and how we can use this inclinometer in civil engineering. Okay. So let us revise this inclinometer. So in place inclinometer are used to continuously monitoring of the lateral movement of the ground at a construction site involving deep excavation. Okay. Construction site where deep excavation occurs so at that time. So at that time to monitor the lateral movement of the ground, we can use in clinometer. Okay. And what is the purpose of to measure the lateral movement of the ground? So lateral movement of the ground may affect the safety of joining structures. Okay. So for that purpose, we have to monitor the lateral movement of the ground. Okay. And at that time we can use in clinometer. There are two types of in clinometer. First one is digital inclinometer and second one is in place inclinometer okay so digital inclinometer or we can say that transversing type inclinometer which consists of sensing probe which is connected to the readout unit with the help of cable drill okay and this reel consists of winding reel that holds the cable and this cable is connected to the sensing probe or we can say that digital probe and secondly this is connected to readout unit okay so this cable transmits the data from the sensing probe to readout unit okay we can also use rechargeable battery to supply power to whole readout unit assembly. Okay, so this is the inclinometer which we can use to measure the lateral movement of the ground at any construction site where deep excavation occurs. Okay, and there are two types of inclinometer. First one is digital, and second is in place inclinometer. Okay, so inclinometer is nothing but which contain one sensing probe. And second one is readout unit and cable ring which is connected to sensing probe and readout unit. Okay. So this is the main purpose of inclinometer. Next meter that is bore wall extension meter. You can clearly see in this image that is bore wall extension meter. Okay. So so, bore ball extension meter is generally used for online monitoring of subsurface ground settlement during the construction activity. Okay, so this is the main purpose of using bore ball extension meter to monitor the subsurface ground settlement during the construction activity. And it is also give us important information regarding the lateral movement. Okay. You can clearly see in this image this bore wall extension meter. Okay. Now next is piezometer. Also we have studied about piezometer in our previous lecture that what is the function of piezometer, what are the types of piezometer and how we can use piezometer in civil engineering. Okay. So piezometer is generally used.
comes to online monitoring of the ground water pressure or level near the construction site okay between the building and excavation and underground works okay so pedometer is generally used to measure the pore water pressure near the construction site where we are going to construct a structure so at nearby location we have to measure the pore water pressure at that time we can use pedometer for safety purpose okay so we can say that our online piezometric pressure monitoring system provide us very important information regarding on safety and especially in rainy season for any structure built on a hill okay so it is give us the information regarding the pore water pressure under the ground level okay before starting a construction okay so you can clearly see in this figure this one is piezometer okay Now next is strain gauge and load cells. You can clearly see in this image how we can install strain gauge and load cell. So we can say that construction of any deep foundation may result in a lateral movement and settlement of the surrounding structures in case the later fall in the zone of influence of the construction activity. So during the excavation, stars or anchors may be used to contain a lateral movement. so we can use strain and load cell to monitoring of stars and anchors okay so what is the purpose of strain gauge so strain gauge is generally used to measure the strain in stars and anchors and a load cell is generally used to measure a load or weight passing through it okay so this is the main purpose of strain gauge and load cell which we have studied in our previous lectures so okay now next meter that is seismograph and sclerometers okay you can clearly see in this figure this is so seismograph are designed to measure the ground movement vibration caused by earthquake excavation borings and drilling okay so due to the drilling earthquake excavation and boring vibration build up okay so seismograph is generally used to measure the ground movement or vibrations okay so seismograph is generally record this movement and vibration in the graph form okay and accelerometer is generally used to measure the static or dynamic acceleration force okay so this is the difference between seismograph and accelerometer okay so seismograph is generally used to measure the vibration and any ground movement during the earthquake excavation and drilling okay and accelerometer is generally used to measure the static and dynamic acceleration force okay so in this lecture we have studied about different different sensor which we can use in civil engineering and their mode of operation okay so so this is the topic that differentiate different type of sensors and their mode of operation okay in previous lecture in first chapter we have studied about different types of sensor that available in the market and in this lecture we have studied about different type of sensor that we can use in civil engineering for monitoring of structures buildings and monuments okay so these are the sensor which we can use in civil engineering okay to monitor any structures okay thank you for watching this video